In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get a 100% save file on any game you want on your Wii U. What this will do will basically unlock everything in the game, which can make it more fun that you don't have to put so many hours to achieve it. It's ideal to do this, especially if you play Mario Kart Generations online using Pretendo, which I do stream sometimes. It will unlock everything and give you the full online experience. And along with uploading a 100% save file, I'm also going to show you how to back up your current saves. But let's get started. So the way we are going to be doing this, we're starting off on the Wii U in the Homebrew App Store. Now, if you followed my guides, you should already have this. But if not, it is just an app you can get onto your SD card. But let's load into it and get the save me mod so once you're inside and loaded we're going to go to aroma ready and just scroll down until you see save me what port click a on it click a to download but once it's downloaded back to the top you can see that it is good to go go back to the wii u menu and now you should be able to go over and see that you have save me what port. I'm quickly gonna grab it and drag it into my homebrew launcher, <laughs> my homemade homebrew launcher folder. But once you have it, just click it and we'll load it up. So it will load all your Wii U and your VW titles. And as you can see, we have two different options. We have Wii U save management, VW save management, and then we can do a batch backup. So if you wanna save all of your save data or back it up rather, you can click A on batch backup, but we're focusing on Mario Kart 8 for this video. So we're gonna be going into Wii U save management. As you can see, it has our games and even our channels, but just go down to the game you want. If your game is yellow, it just means you don't have a save data yet. All you have to do is run it once and your save data will be created. But just go down to the game that you want, as in my case, Mario Kart 8. And here we'll have an option to back it up, restore it, or wipe. Lodine is old news. Now, even if you don't want to back up your actual save data, it's still good to do this because it will set up our SD card with the folders that we need to add the 100% save file. So I do suggest doing it either way. So just click A to back it up and we can select an empty slot. It goes all the way to 255, but I suggest starting off on zero. And then here you can do all users or you can select each user. As you can see, I got Funky Scott and Steve. They both have a save, and if you have a common save, just change that to yes before backing it up. So let's back it up, just press A, and it will do its thing. I forgot I am on the Steve account, because that's my Pretendo one. So I'm gonna back my Steve account up, press A, and it will do its thing. But once you back it up, you can press B, you can press the home button and exit the app. You can turn off your Wii U, take your SD card out and place it in your computer. I'll meet you over there. So linked below, I will have this GBA temp page where it's gonna have a bunch of different Wii U saves for all sorts of games. Now you can either scroll down, it is alphabetically organized, or you can hit Control F and type in whatever game you're doing and you should be able to find it that way. Just click on the game and it will come up with different options. Now this is region specific, so you will want to make sure that you know your region of your Wii U and that you download the proper save data. Now for some games, it will come with different options and it will have a description. Now this one just says 100% save. This one says without the DLC and this one has the DLC save. So let's go for the DLC version. So click on the link. This is what the download will look like. So I'm going to hit download in the top right. Download anyway. This will be a RAR file, so that means you need to extract it. And just to show you, some save files are set up differently. This one does not have the title ID, where if we go back and select the first one here, the file structure is different. This one starts off with the Mario Kart 8 title ID, so that is important to note as well. But because we backed up a save for Mario Kart 8, we have everything set up on our SD card and it's easy to transfer over any file. So once you have those downloaded, whichever ones you want, you can get it for different games as well. Head on over to your SD card. So my download is on the left, my SD card on the right, and we're gonna go inside of Wii U, all the way down here, backups, and this is where your save backup should be. And because we only backed up Mario Kart 8, this is the title ID for Mario Kart 8. If we backed up multiple games, they would be different folders for each game. We are gonna open up the file for the download. So when you open it up, it should look something like this. Again, if you have the folder where it has the title ID, you can just transfer that 
over here. Uh, if there is a dash though, you need to change the name and take that out so that it looks like this. But since we already have the title ID in there, let's go inside of there and we have the two users that we backed up. We are going to right click, create a new, and we're gonna make another slot. So slot two, that is where we're gonna place both of these. So highlight both and drag them over. So we're good, go inside and it should look just like this. And that is really all we have to do. We can delete the zip file since it's no longer needed. Keep your PC a little bit cleaner and we can eject our SD card and head back onto the Wii U. I will meet you on Save Me. All right, we're back in Save Me. Go into your Wii U save management and go to Mario Kart 8 or whichever game that you are restoring a save to. Now, before we restore the save, we need to wipe the save data. So click on wipe save data, select the user. So I'm going to pick Steve, include the common save and press A to wipe. A to confirm, make sure you're really sure. Press A <laughs> and then you have an option to back up current save data. We already did, press no and it will delete it. If you get this screen like I did, just press B. It says we still have a save, but our common save is not there anymore. So just try to wipe it again and it should solve that issue. And there we go, you should see empty. Now we are good to go. So press B, and now we're gonna switch over to restore save data. We'll go over to the slot we created, which was slot two. Go down, change it from all users, and you should see the same number as the one we downloaded. So that one was 800013. It has a save, that is our 100% save file. So that is the user that we're going to copy from and send it to an actual user. So I'm gonna do it to Steve, include common save, change that to yes, and this is what it should look like before you restore. So just click A, restore, confirm, backup, we're good, press B, and it should add the 100% save file. There we go, it is done. So now it says Steve has a save, so we're good to go. But you can do the same to any other users that you wanna add the save to and then press B and we are good to go. So we can hit the home button, we can head back to the Wii U menu and we can double check that it worked. So load into the game that you added the save to, Mario Kart 8 in my case. If you have mods on SD Caffeine like I do, your save file will work for those mods as well. But I'm just gonna run it as vanilla, so I'm pressing B. Mario Kart 8 Generations is a great mod pack though. Okay, so we ran into an issue. This is good because I can show you firsthand how to fix this. If you load your game and all you get is a black screen, if you listen, you can still hear Mario Kart 8. This can be for multiple reasons. It could be that we just need to wipe it and redo the process, or we need to grab a different 100% save file. So just turn off your Wii U. I'm gonna use this one at the top of the list, but I'll download it and meet you back and save me and we'll try again. So let's go try to fix it. So go back to the game. And again, we need to wipe our save data before adding it. Wipe the save data. Yes, yes, no. And there we go. <laughs> now the save data is wiped. Just make sure it says empty and you're good. So back, go to restore it again. And we're just gonna do the same thing. I put it on slot four this time and it was 80001. You guys already know how to do this. Confirm, no and it will add the 100% save file. Let's go test it out now. Second time's a charm, right? <laughs> and again, loading it vanilla. And there we go. It did not black screen this time. So this save data did work. So I'm kind of glad we did run into that issue so I was able to show you. And let's quickly go and see if we have everything unlocked. There we go, we have all the characters beautiful and all the tracks are ready to be played but there you go guys that is how you unlock everything in your favorite wii u games i hope you were able to follow it well if not if you did run into other issues make sure to join my discord linked below and we can help you out there but again thank you for all the support lately and i will see you on the next one stay funky and happy modding